doing a bookshelf tour today. I wasn't going to do this until I saw Emily do hers and I was like, oh, that's pretty good. And then little book Al did hers and I was like, that one's pretty good. So I felt compelled, so I'm going to do one. Fun fact though, a lot of my books are not here because I loan books out to people a lot. So a lot of my favorite books aren't here right now. And yeah, but anyway, this should be fun. They're organized by genre. Let's do this thing. I've not done a real bookshelf tour yet, so. So this is an overview of my main bookshelf. That is my stack of madness. And then down here, everything is organized by genres. And there's some Harry Potter books on the floor that I need to take downstairs where our Harry Potter books live. Yep. And then over here we have my other bookshelf, which houses a lot of my favorites and also my DVDs. So let's get started. Up here you have my books about books. So, and plus a book of poetry. So first you have 101 Famous Poems by Various Poets. 84 Charing Cross Road by Helen Hanf. Duchess of Bloomberry Street by Helen Hanf. Q's Legacy by Helen Hanf. One for the Books by Joe Keehan. The Reading Promise by Alice Ozma. The Bookshop Book by Penelope Fitzgerald. Club Dumas by Ataro Perez Roverte. So Many Books, So Little Time by Sarah Nelson. The Know-It-All by A.J. Jacobs. And then two stupid books that have nothing to do with this genre, but Her Holiday Family by Ruth Logan Hearn, which I got as a joke for Christmas. And, oh crud. And Fix Up Service by McClure Jones, which I just want to read because it just sounds hilarious and I got it when I was in like seventh grade. This section is literary fiction. So first we have Fruit, oops, Fruit of Lemon by Andrea Levy. Donna Tarts the Goldfinch. The Secret History by Donna Tart. Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Maria Peschel. The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay by Michael Chabon. Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. Oops, falling. White Teeth by Zadie Smith. The Beautiful Ruins by Jess Walter. Old School by Tobias Wolf. The Saffron Kitchen by Yasmin Crowether. How I Became Stupid by Martin Page, a novel um, translated from French. The Map of Love by Adolphe Suif. The History of Love by Nicole Krauss. Zadie Smith's N.W. I also have On Beauty, but not with me. Down here we have a copy of Sleeping Beauty <laughs> by Walt Disney. No, uh, down here we have my general nonfiction. A lot of travel related books specifically. First we have Just One Type by Simon Garfield, a book about fonts. We have Parisians by Graham Robb. Without Reservations by Alice Steinbach. Condé Nast Book of Unforgettable Journeys. The Lost Continent by Bill Bryson. How to Watch the Olympics by David Goldblatt and Johnny Acton. My Damn Life by Sean Condon. The Horologicon by Mark Forsyth. That Book About Harvard by Eric Kester. The stack is like, wicked <laughs> when I'm pulling them out. Fifth Avenue, 5 a.m. by Sam Wasson. La Aviva la Revolution by Mark Steele. And then on the very bottom, we have Video Hounds, Groovy Movies, Far Out Films, The Psychedelic, Psychedelic Area by Irv Slifkin. Slifkin. And one of my favorite film books that I have, which is The Greatest Movies Ever by... Gail Kin and Jim Plaza. This book is pretty cool. It's got neat pictures and stuff. Up here we have my quirky books. These are books that I deem to be quirky in some way. So first we have St. Lucy's Home for Girls Raised by Wolves by Karen Russell. Two Serious Ladies by Jane Bowles. Nick Cornby's Juliet Naked. Nick Cornby's How to Be Good. Nick Cornby's Out About a Boy. A Sheep. Various Pets Dead and Alive by Marina Lufkov. Angel Maker by Nick Harkaway. The Fourth Bear by Jasper Ford. I'm Having So Much Fun Here Without You by Courtney Mom. Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford. Down here we have sort of funny books and almost all of them are written by men in this particular section so that kind of is a factor, I don't know. Um, and some fairy lights that have decided to swing down from the heavens. Anyway. Jeremy Clarkson's Don't Stop Me Now, Don't Ask Me Why I Own This. Well, I like Top Gear, that's why I own it. I don't know, I don't know, guys. The Book of Awesome by Neil Pasrika. Stephen Fry's The Fry Chronicles. Naked Pictures of Famous People by John Stewart. 
Me Talk Pretty One Day by David Sedaris. More Information Than You Require by John Hodgman. Manhood by Terry Crews. This is the book about feminism that I couldn't find the other day in my book haul. One More Thing, uh, Stories and Other Stories by B.J. Novak. Most Talkative by Andy Cohen. I like Real Housewives. That's a fact. Life from New York, uh, as told by its stars, writers, and guests by Tom Shales and James Andrew Miller. Very bottom book. I don't want to get out because it's really big, but it's Make Them Laugh, The Funny Business of America by Lauren Smelson and Michael Cantor, which was an adaptation of a PBS miniseries. So, cool. Down here, um, as you can see, my tripod doesn't go down any further than this, so. But down here we have historical fiction and sci-fi, so it's kind of a weird mix of stuff. But on the very top we have The Book of Madness and Cures, a novel by Regina O. Melvery. Loud Atlas by David Mitchell. Ashes of Twilight by Casey Taylor. Legend by Marie Lu. Brilliance by Mar Marcus Sackey. Forks and Crake by Margaret Atwood. The Sparrow by Maria Doria Russell. The Little Book by Selden Edwards. My Mangled Copy from My Dogs of A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Bringing Up the Bodies by Hilary Mantel. The Paris Wife by Paula McLean. And The Rules of Civility, Civility by Amor Towles. Very great Gatsby cover. Up here we have mystery and sort of just mystery, I guess, and thriller. Into in as about to say into the woods. In the woods by Tana French. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Death of a Fence by Donna Leon. Oscar Wilde and the Death of No Importance by Giles Brander. Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie by Alan Bradley. The Truth About the Harry Kubert Affair by Joel Dicker. Spy Who Came In From the Cold, a novel by John Lee Carey. Jacoby by William Ritter. Whispers Underground by Ben Aronovich. Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. On the bottom, I don't really want to pull them out. I have Kathy's Book and Kathy's Key by some author. I have no idea. <laughs> Down here we have classics. Well, some of my classics. I got rid of a bunch of them that I know that I am not going to get to anytime soon. And plus the covers for them were absolutely hideous. So first we have Three Men in a Boat by Jerome K. Jerome. Sherlock Holmes, The Complete Novels and Stories, uh, Volume 1 by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell, which is ugly covered, coveredness, but whatever. The Ambassador by Henry. This is my contemporary shelf, YA Contemporary, so on top we have I Tell You I Love You But Then I Have to Kill You by Allie Carter, Spud by John Van Der Root, Ladies in Waiting by Laura L. Sullivan, Every Day by David Leatherfan, Duff by Cody Keplinger, The Year of Secret Assignments by Jacqueline Morati. Tokyo Eyes by Diana Wren. Burn for Burn by Jenny Hahn and Siobhan Vivian. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Amy Rogers' Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. Speak by Lori Hall Sanderson. The Sky is Everywhere by Jenny Nelson. And Looking for Alaska by John Green. And we'll grace and we'll grace and my John Green did love then. Up here we have my lady books. So books that are all about ladies being awesome. Shoot, sorry, my dress was on my thing. My tripod, whatever. Top we have Soppy, which I keep saying soapy, but it's soppy and I know that by Philippa Rice. Which isn't really, I mean, our lady wrote it, so. Me by Katherine Hepburn. My Life in France by Julia Child, which I am still currently reading. A Woman in Charge by Hilary Rodham Clinton. No, A Life, The Life of Hilary Rodham Clinton by Carl Bernstein, which is signed, which is really cool because Carl Bernstein was um, the duo that brought down Nixon with the Watergate scandal at the Washington Post. Reading Lolita in Tehran by Azar Nafisi. Seriously, I'm kidding by Ellen DeGeneres. Nora Ephron's I Feel Bad About My Neck and other thoughts on being a woman. And Nora Ephron's I Remember Nothing and Other Reflections. Well Wood Rimmon by Samantha Hahn. Oops, sorry guys. The Agenda of Zero Tolerance Guide to the Media by Holly Baxter and Rihanna Lucy Colsett. 
Again, I don't know if that's like explicit, that picture. It's definitely cropped. I don't know, guys. That picture isn't my favorite. Let's pretend this never happened to Mostly True Memoir by Jenny Lawson. I shouldn't care, but it still kind of bothers me. Society's got me programmed. Lean in. Women will work. Women work and the will to lead by Sheryl Sandberg. And a book I've had for such a long time and still haven't read that I want to is Where the Girls Are, Growing Up Females with the Mass Media by Susan J. Douglas. Here you have my sort of uh, fantasy, some of it's adult and some of it's young adult, and some graphic novels. So up here I have The Wicked and the Divine by Glenn McKel uh, Gillen McKelvey and Wilson Cowles, and then Saga Volume 1 through 4, which we all know about. And then I have, oh, The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson, Physics Books of Physics Book of Deliverance Day by Catherine Howe, Conversion by Catherine Howe. I don't want to get this one out. It's uh, uh, Witches of East End by Melissa De La Cruz. White Cat by Holly Black. Ridden Rising by Lee Bardugo. Anti-Goddess by Kendall Blake. Thinking Woman's Guide to Magic by Ellen, Ellen, Emily Croy Baker. That was hard to say in the moment. City of Dark Magic by Magnus Flight, which is actually written by two ladies with a pseudonym. The Man on the Ceiling by Stephen, Steve Ranzik Tem and Melanie Tem. have children's middle grade stuff, I guess. Plus this, which isn't children's or middle grade, but it's my mother, she ate me, my father, my mother, she killed me, my father, he ate me, of 40 New Fairy Tales, edited by Kate Bernenheimer, which I saw in Emily's um, bookshelf store. She has a myth version of that. <clears throat> Nightmares by Jason Siegel and Kristen Miller, which is signed. Ooh. I Capture Castle by Dodie Smith. Constable and Toop by Ga Gareth P. Jones. Um, A Tale of Time City, A Tale of Time City by Diane Win Diana Wynn Jones. The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. Land of Stories, The Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. Mysterious Bionic Society by Trent Lee Stewart, which is a really fun book, and I want to continue with the series. I'm not really a middle grade person, but I really enjoyed that first book. And then Anne of Green Gables by L. M. McGuffrey. Over here we have sort of my girly books. Um, I don't know, girly is the right word, but chiclet and women's fiction, and plus this book, which I didn't know where to put, which is um, The Imperfectionist, a novel by Tom Rockman, which I got as a gift for my birthday a while back. Um, we have The Rosie Project by Graham Simonson, which I started and I wasn't super into it, so I'm gonna try to give it another try, but wasn't crazy about that one. The Undomestic Goddess by Sophie Kinsella. The French Lesson, uh, French Lessons, a novel by Ellen Sue Sussman. Peaches for Mons de la Cure by Joanne Harris, a sequel to Shock a Lot. Q, a novel by Evan Mandry. Chez Moi by Agnes de Sarth. Someday, Someday, Maybe by Lauren Graham, as in the Gomer Girls. This Incredibles car from The Incredibles. <laughs> One of my favorite movies, for reals though. Friends, Lovers, and Chocolate by Alexander McCall Smith. Jane Austen Book Club by Karen Joy Fowler. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James, because I'm reading that piece of sexism trash before um, I see the movie, because I want to gauge it. And then Outlander by Diana Galbadon. Gal... Galbadon, right? Is that how you say it? You probably are like, that's wrong, Emma, gosh. And then the Death Jacket for the Diviners, because my friend still has it, and anyway. The very bottom section, move my Incredibles car, is really random. It's just books that didn't have a place, including uh, number two, number three, number four in the Vampire Academy series, which I haven't read. And I don't, I just bought them on impulse very cheaply. At this, uh, at Ollie, 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 get your adverbs, fee abs adverbs here. Can't speak. At Ollie's, so I have all of them. And then this, which is actually a picture of my friend um, and I for her, grad for her graduation. And then I have a Vogue fashion book, and then this book about posters, and then this really old book about Eleanor Roosevelt, which I couldn't fit in my ladies section. And then this is Meanwhile by H.G. Wells, which is also very old, so. So over here we have just my favorites and plus movies and stuff. So um, I'm going to do that other part last because it's kind of difficult and I'm not going to be able to pull out the books because it's just going to cause issues. But this is sort of, I don't know, there's not really any rhyme or reason for this, but we have And the French Kiss, Lil' and the Boy Next Door, and Island Happily Ever After All by Stephanie Perkins. We have this really cool old um, camera 
which I got at a thrift store. I'm really into photography and this is just, it looks cool, even, you know, it's pretty hipster, but whatever. Amy Poehler by Yes Please. Amy Poehler by Yes Please. Yes Please by Amy Poehler. Alexa Chung's It, which is a very cool book. And these are my favorite books. And then Tim Gunn's Guide to Style, which I got in middle school, and I just think it's really cute. I took the dust jacket off because I didn't like it, and it goes really well with Alexa Chung's book. And then down here I have Ghost World by Daniel Klaus, which is a graphic novel, and then The Little Black Dress by... Amy Holland Eld Eldeman, Edelman, which is like a history of the little black dress. And then Persepolis by Marjean Stahrafi. I'm going to say that really wrong, but you heard of that, so. We have, oh, 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 oh. Jeez, that was funny. Down here we have my Wii. It's really old that I watched Netflix on it. And then some series that I really love, including the Magician series. I have not read the second or third one, but I love the first one. A whole lot, and then the Ruby Red series, which I think is really fun, and then the, f the second and third book in the uh, All Souls trilogy by Deborah Harkness, and then Hall City and Miss Peregrine's Home for Killer Children by Ransom Riggs. Over here, we just have a bunch of random books that are some of my favorites. I'm gonna move this closer, um, including Who the Hell is Pansy O'Hara, which I talked about in my last video, and Loved Walked In by Marissa Dale Santos, which I talked about in my last video. Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher. The Martian by Andy Weir. I've lived in the East London for 86 and a half years. It's a really interesting book. Dear Reading Dangerously by Henny Miller. The first volume of Scott Pilgrim by Brian Lee O'Malley. El Enchanted by uh, Gail Lav Levine, which is actually my sister's, but she has a different copy, and I love El Enchanted. Bridget Jones' Diary by Helen Fielding in the Penguin Inks edition. Is everyone else hanging out? Everyone, is everyone hanging out with me? Another concerns by Mindy Kaling. Shock a lot by Joan Harris. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levfan. And the Vintage Pattern Selector, which is a pattern book. Lexicon by Max Berry. Bossy Pants, this book about the ukulele. And then uh, the Lumberjanes, the first two editions. Two, uh, whatever, of the Lumberjanes copies. I don't know what to call it. And then down here we have more movies. We have a variety. These are kind of, some of these are pretty bad because I got them in like middle school. But we have like Airplane and we don't want to talk about Mamma Mia. And I have like Get Smart, which I actually like. Fanboys, Four Weddings and Funerals, Say Anything, and When Harry Met Sally. When Harry Met Sally, fun fact, is one of my favorite movies of all time. Five Hundred Days of Summer, Ghostbusters 1 and 2 because I love Ghostbusters. It's, again, another one of my favorite movies of all time. And The Big Bang Theory, for some reason, is not mine, but I have it. And then over here there's more stuff. And then over here, I'm not going to move it, but I have um, the first three books in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, which I really enjoy, and then the Hex Hall series, and also an utterly, hist <laughs> utterly partial history of Britner, Britain by um, John O'Farrell, which I've been reading forever, and then a box set of Percy Jackson, because I love Percy Jackson. Okay, so now we're at our, my, our, my, yours, everything is that you see is yours, and the light that touches is yours, whatever, blah, blah, Lion King. But, um, this is my book tower. I like to create new book towers every month or so, so I've had this one up since, I think, the beginning of January. I also have this mural of Cinderella's castle that my mom painted for me when I was a little, little kid, so that's fun. But I'm not going to pull things out because it's really hard, but we'll start over here. Um, so we have Agatha Christie box set, which I haven't read yet. I've read everything else in here, I'm pretty sure, except for that, whatever. And then we have Abundance of Catherine's by John Green, which is actually my favorite John Green book, which is weird. Um, Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. Midnight in, in the Garden of Good and Evil by John Burnett. Um, The Admittable Jeeves by P.J. Wodehouse, which is upside down. Possession by A.S. by Unravel Me by Tara Maffi. I also have Shatter Me, but again, not with me. Divergent by Veronica Roth. I don't actually love this book. Or this book. Or I don't really love Bunnets of Catherine's anymore, but I don't really love these two books. But they're here because they fit. And then a couple romance novels that are pretty fun. I really like both of these. Just Like Heaven by Julia Quinn and Dance Upon the Air by Nora Roberts. This book is very, very practical magic-y, so if you like the movie Practical Magic. Also, some hot chocolate mix, and then my two cop my two very old copies. Um, one is Wuthering Heights and one is Jane Eyre by the Brontes. And then... Dear Lovely Heart, I Am Desperate by Ellen Conford, which is hilarious. A tube map, rubber bands for my braces, that's fun. This fun mug that has banned books on it. Some post-it note things, this little bunny that I got in Disney World forever ago. More sunflowers in a um, Pellegrino bottle from Kate Spade's store. They're that store is fancy. 
And then Jessie, who's my favorite of all the Pixar characters. I love her. I dressed up for her for like three years in a row when I was a kid. And then this Minnie Mouse lunchbox that I've had forever. And then we have 1001 Movies to See Before You Die um, by Stephen J. Schneider. Stephen Fry in America. Stephen, Four, I am Amer Stephen Colbert's I Am America. I Am America and So Can You. And America by John Stewart. So all my America books. My journal, which I don't ever use anymore. Um, my Harry Potter one that I've had since I was like literally six years old. It's really fun. I taught my niece how to say Lumos when she does that. So that's really fun. And then up here, uh, I caught, I collect bad copies of Wuthering Heights. Wuthering Heights is actually, I don't like the book, but I find the copies of Wuthering Heights to be hilarious. So yeah, this is um, a 17th century book of poetry. And then now Panic and Freak Out, which is, I don't really like that design meme or whatever, but that is actually very perfect for my life. And then this quote thing I made forever ago. This is a quote by Mark Twain. And then my copy of Jane Eyre that I got from Emily Jean. The Funny Thing Is by Ellen Fitzgerald, Ellen Fitzgerald, Ellen DeGeneres, Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, My True Love Gave to Me by various authors, Pigeon Pie Mystery by Julia Stewart. This is a book by Demetri Martin. Dad is Fat by Jim Gaffigan, Beauty Queens by Lova Bray. Then Freakonomics by The Stevens, Rainbow Rowell's Attachments, Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot, which I love, My Fair Lady, a novelization of the movie by Monica Dickens. Something fell. Nick Hornby by uh, Nick Hornby's Fever Pitch, which I haven't read. China Garden by Liz Berry, Confessions of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella, Rivers of London by Ben Aronovich, The Well of Lost Plots by Jasper Ford, The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Shabatsky, Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan, a film, a film, world, a world history, which is a book of foreign and American directors, and the poems and fairy tales of Oscar Wilde. And then up here, in the smell section, we have this thing of change, which is a Madeline box, which I love. It has a hole in it, so you can throw a change in it. Um, the Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison, The Weird Sisters by Eleanor Brown, Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead, uh, more anthology by Catelyn Moran, The Agency by Y.S. Lee, The Brunish Triangle by Maureen Johnson, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizinzi, uh, Lost in a Good Book by Jasper Ford, Weathering Heights, again, this one's probably my favorite, it's so funny, um, Sweet Scarlet by Maureen Johnson, Paper Towns by John Green, which I don't really like that much. But I put it there because I needed a place for it. Anyway, another quote. This one is by Harrison Keeler of NPR. My favorite mug, which actually was gifted to my sister, but she didn't want it. So I love it. We can do it. Michelle Obama, Rosie the Riveter. Love it. Charles Dickens' is Great Expectations, which I haven't read, but I like it there. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. Time Was Off There by Jeremy Mercer. And My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. And then over here we have my Wes Anderson collection, which I love. It's beautiful and I love Wes Anderson, so. Anyway, this is my bookshelves. Um, posters, ooh, posters, posters. Ooh, Dalek, ooh, ooh, Simon and Garfunkel, my favorite band. No, really, they are my favorite band. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day.